G'day guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a review of a black comedy from the United States, English language, released in the year 2012, directed by Adam Mason, and this film is called Junkie. And the story of Junkie is as follows. Junkie is a pitch black comedy about two heavily addicted drug addled brothers, Danny and Nicky. When Danny decides he's going clean, Nicky reacts aggressively, driving Danny from one incident experience to another as a whole host of bizarre, surreal characters descend on the house, all with grievances to bear, debts to reclaim, or trouble to cause. As Danny's life spirals out of control, he must fight tooth and nail to kick the habit and rescue himself from the personal hell Nicky has consigned him to, while simultaneously attempting to repair the deeply damaged relationships with his increasingly bizarre friends and family. So the movie is about drug addiction. You've got Danny and you've got Danny's brother Nicky. Now they're both heavily addicted drug addicts and Nicky wants to keep the lifestyle and Danny wants to go clean because he wants to repair the de deeply damaged relationships with his friends and family. So he's very alone. He is inside this house and he doesn't go anywhere. He basically just shoots up on drugs and that's the way he lives his life. But now he's realized that there might be something better for him. But Nicky is the bad influence and he's always dragging him down. He's always saying to Danny to get him some drugs. So Danny's finding it very difficult to kick the habit. Now things are going to get even more complicated when these very bizarre characters descend on the house. Now you've got a drug dealer who is causing a lot of grief. You've got family members who are very bad and you've got other people who are just making Danny's life hell. And so whether or not he can kick the addiction or he succumbs to the pressure that is put from the people around him, that's something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Junkie. I didn't know what to expect coming into this one. I heard no one talk about it. And what I got was just an absolutely phenomenal experience. I mean, I love Junkie and I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. Now, this is the beauty of Blind Buy. Sometimes you get a film and you don't know what it's about. Then you watch it and you think to yourself, oh God, I regret having bought that film. But this movie, Junkie is the reason why I do blind buys is because sometimes you come across a gem, a gem that no one talks about and needs to be uncovered. And that's exactly what Junkie is. Now, Junkie on the outside is a very, very entertaining film. It's very, very disturbing. It is rated R18 plus for a very good reason. There are some themes in there that revolve around drugs, you know, very, um, it's a very drug hardened film. But there's also this sexual material in the movie that was just really, really wrong. So as far as black comedies are concerned, this one is definitely the blackest of black comedies. Now, it is about addiction, but it's not condoning addiction. It's not making light of addiction. And that's something that I thought was very skillful from the director. Now, a lot of drug uh, addiction films, they make you feel really bad for watching it because it feels like it's lecturing you. It feels like it's telling you that drugs are bad. But we already know that as an audience. We don't have to be told how destructive drugs can be. And so as, as opposed to kind of enjoying the film, you're feeling bad about watching this film. You're feeling that you're watching something that you already know that is just being reiter reiter sorry, I'm off the tongue twister. reiterated. Yeah, we don't need it to be um, drummed into our heads that it's bad because we know it's bad. So Junkie doesn't do that. Junkie, although it does have a very real message and it's a very powerful film, it never loses sight of the entertaining value. So you never feel guilty watching it. You're always enjoying what is on the screen and what is on the screen is just incredibly bizarre I thought for a low budget movie this is phenomenally made the acting is great especially from Nicky uh, Danny's heavily tattooed brother thought he was very charming but at the same time very menacing because you sense that he is holding Danny back but he's very charming and he has a lot of very uh, funny lines that he delivers he's a very good actor this guy I've never seen him before but he is one to look out for so hopefully he gets a lot more work because he plays a really really funny character in this film but at the same time very menacing so he balances both of them very very well and what you get is very good chemistry between the main two uh, brothers. Uh, the uh, the guy who played Danny did a very good job, very sympathetic. Uh, towards the end of the film, he realizes that maybe he could have been a better person, but as a result of his childhood, as a result of the people around him, he's been held back. So it is a movie, very real movie about addiction. If you've been addicted to, uh, addicted to anything, whether it be drugs or alcohol, I would highly recommend you check out this film because there is a lot of relatable quality. Now, I haven't been addicted to anything, but I could still relate to these characters because it is a movie about coping with really hard times and how you know uh, uh, drugs or alcohol could be a substitute for dealing with these bad things. It's not a case of you know becoming a drug addict for the sake of it. A lot of these addicts 
will do this because they are kind of trying to push away memories that are not very pleasant. And that's exactly what Danny is doing in this film. And although the surreal quality of the movie and the entertaining value of the movie, you never lose sight of what the movie wants to be. What it wants to be is a movie that is very heartfelt, very charming, but at the same time just really nasty. And I, I felt so sorry for Danny, especially towards the end. I was knocked over by a line of dialogue at the end of the film from Danny's brother that knocked me over. It, it just stunned me because the movie, it, it's very light. In, in some parts, it's lighthearted. Now, when I say lighthearted, it depends what kind of humor you have. If you're a sicko, it, it is lighthearted. But if you're easily offended, then Junkie is going to really shock you. But although it's very entertaining, underneath you feel it has a purpose. It has a reason for being made. It's not just provoking the audience with shocking material. It feels like the director is doing this very deliberately, but underneath you sense that it has a platform that it has a reason to be made and that reason is to show you how destructive drug addiction can be how bad it can be but at the same time it's not preaching it to you it, it's kind of treating you as a person who knows that drugs are bad but then it's showing you in a very different way and it's not lettering you that's what I loved about it so much was the fact that you're able to enjoy yourself without feeling the guilt that a lot of other movies try and put upon you. So for a low-budget movie, the cinematography was great. The movie is set basically inside this guy's house. It's very run down. You get a very depressing atmosphere in the film, and I thought it contributed to the grubbiness that a drug addict would be. So I love the way it felt. I thought the low-budget played to its advantage, but the acting is something that really did take me by surprise. I thought it was sensational for the quality of you know the budget, and uh, I would highly recommend everyone check it out based on... Uh, the fact that this is a very well-made film. The soundtrack is excellent. A little bit repetitive here and there for the soundtrack, but luckily it was a very good soundtrack, so that didn't take anything out of it for me. And the end will really hit you hard. So the movie is not uh, trying to be serious. It's not trying to take itself too seriously, but at the end, you feel like it has a purpose, uh, as opposed to just being there for the sake of provoking an angry response. So it's a very hard film to watch in places. Uh, as I said, the humour is very black. I found it hilarious, I found it very disturbing, and it's just an incredibly weird experience. The characters are very exaggerated to the point where you feel like you're hallucina uh, hallucinating, and that's what I loved about it so much. I love weird films. If you love weird films, then Junkie is definitely one for you. But if you want a surprising experience and one that has a lot more substance than you would think, then Junkie is one I would highly recommend. So overall for Junkie, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. I thought this was brilliant, and it is coming highly, highly recommended. Alright guys, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later. Bye.